Hello Year 3. Your DT task for this week is to make an easy lava lamp if you have the resources. Now in your home learning pack you should um, see be able to see a sheet that looks like this. I'm just going to share that with you so you can see what I'm looking at. So it's the one that says make an easy lava lamp at the top and it has all the instructions there um, for you and the things that you'll need but I'm just going to go through it with you and um, so that you can see what it looks like. So the first thing that you are going to need um, is a bottle. Now on the sheet it does show a two litre bottle. You don't have to use one that big. I'm going to use one um, that's a lot smaller than that um, but you will need the lid as well. You're going to need some water. I've got some water here um, in a jug. You're going to need um, some um, oil. I've got some vegetable oil but other food based oils will do as well. And you're going to need some food colouring and some effervescent tablets which are tablets that fizz when you put them into water. So ask a grown up if you've got um, any of those handy. If you haven't, don't worry, make the lava lamp because it's actually really good fun to watch what happens even without the fizzing tablets. Okay, so if you've got everything and you're ready to go, join me for the next step. Okay, so the first instruction says pour some water into the plastic bottle, but only up to about a quarter full. So I'm going to use a marker and I'm going to, with my eye, just look at what's about halfway and then go halfway again and mark on the bottle. And that's about a quarter where that marker is there. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the water in. You might um, want to use a funnel for this. It may be easier for you to pour um, through or you may have a jug like me. Either way, what I've done is I've put some paper towel down um, just in case there's any spillages. So I just need a little bit more there. And there, as you can see, I've got some water in my bottle. Now the next step is to pour the vegetable oil in. Now again, if you've got a funnel, that might be a good idea to use that here. Um, I don't have one, so I'm going to go ahead and use it freehand, but I have got some paper towel down um, just in case of any spillages. Now you need to pour this um, almost to the top. Just a little bit more. And then you just need to wait and watch while the oil and the water completely separate that. Go ahead and watch that for a little while to see what's happening and join me for the next step. Okay, so the next part is to add your food colouring. Now, food colouring can stain, so you may want to use some gloves. Um, you may even want to wear, um, also want to wear an apron um, to protect your clothes, but certainly have something down on the surface. Um, now, I've got some um, food colouring and the opening of the bottle is quite wide, so it's actually quite difficult to pour drops in from this bottle. So you may have a pipette from um, a science kit that you may have at home, or you could um, ask a grown-up if they've got any of these uh, medicine-type syringes, um, which may help you to draw out liquid. And you need to put in about 12 drops of the food colouring. You go ahead and do that, pause the video and I'll meet you back here when you've done all 12. So I'm just putting in my final few drops right now. And just sit back and watch what's happening for the moment and then meet me back here for the next step.
Okay, so I'm just moving the bottle of liquid to the side um, out of the way so I don't knock it over for this next step. So you're going to need your effervescent or fizzy tablet um, now. And I've got um, some vitamin tablets that fizz when I put them in water. Um, that's how I know that they're effervescent. Now you need to break this up into about five to six small sections. Um, this is quite a big one, so I'm going to break it up a bit more. Now what I'm doing is I've got a chopping board, I've got a teaspoon and the tablet, and I'm gonna hold onto it while I'm just pushing down with the end of the teaspoon. I'm holding onto it because they will shoot off in different directions if you press too hard um, and they end up on the floor. You don't want that, so hold on to it as much as you can. And when you've got some quite small sections, so about this big, and you are ready for the next step. So bring your bottle of liquid back in. And then you just want to do one section of the um, fizzy tablet at a time. So let's see what happens. Let's try and hold this up. bubbles fizzing up and going all the way up through the oil to the top of the bottle. Just pause the video and have a good look and watch what you ha what's happening with your bottle. So I hope you're having lots of fun watching what's going on in your lava lamp. Um, I discovered that the bigger the piece of fizzy tablet that I put in, the more bubbles I got and the more exciting it was to watch. So that's something I've learned from this today. Now, if you don't have um, any fizzy tablets, then you can still enjoy your lava lamp. Um, what you can do is put the lid back on and you can see the mix, the mixture floating about like bubbles. And that will do that without a fizzy tablet. So if you haven't got one, then um, you can still have lots of fun with it. So I really hope you enjoy making your lava lamp um, this week and I look forward um, to seeing any photos of what you've done later in the week. Bye for now.